Частину ракет збит. Some of the missiles were shot down, but only part of them. We need a powerful air defense system, modern, fully effective, the one that can provide complete protection against these missiles. We talk about this with our partners on a daily basis. There are already certain agreements set, and partners need to move faster if they are really partners, not observers. Procrastination with the transfer of weapons to our state, any restrictions, this is actually an invitation for Russia to fight again and again. The occupiers, these terrorists, must be beat with all our strength so that they do not think that they can oppress and outplay someone. Russian forces were fighting on Monday to achieve one of their strategic objectives in Ukraine as Moscow-backed separatists said they were pushing into Lysikansk, the last major city still held by Ukrainian troops in eastern Luhansk province. Lysikansk's twin city of Sivirodonetsk fell on Saturday in a victory for Moscow's campaign to seize the eastern provinces of Luhansk and Donetsk on behalf of pro-Russian separatists. TASS news agency on Sunday quoted a separatist official as saying Moscow's forces had entered Lysikansk from five directions and were isolating Ukrainian defenders. Reuters could not confirm the report. The general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said Russian forces were using artillery to try to cut off Lysikansk from the south, but made no mention of separatists entering the city. Elena, an elderly woman from Lysikansk, was among dozens of evacuees who arrived in the Ukrainian-held town of Pokrovsk by bus from frontline areas. Lysikansk, it was a horror, the last week. Yesterday we could not take it anymore, she said. I already told my husband if I die, please bury me behind the house. The RIA agency quoted a separatist official as saying separatist forces had evacuated more than 250 people, including children, on Sunday from Sivirodonetsk's Azot chemical plant. The industrial area was the last part of Sivirodonetsk held by Ukrainian forces before they withdrew on Saturday after weeks of heavy fighting which left the town in ruins. Russian missiles struck an apartment block and close to a kindergarten in Kiev on Sunday as world leaders gathered in Germany to discuss further sanctions against Moscow. Deputy Mayor Mykola Povoroznik said one person was killed and six wounded in the first Russian attack on the capital in weeks. In his nightly address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said a wounded seven-year-old girl was pulled from the rubble of a nine-story apartment block. The girl's father was killed in the strike he said. She was not threatened by anything in our country. She was completely safe until Russia itself decided that everything was equally hostile to them now women, children, kindergartens, houses, hospitals, railways, Zelensky said. A Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson said the strike was carried out with four to six long-range missiles fired from bombers more than 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, away in southern Russia.